Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you another way to emit particles from a different area of your object. Because normally, basically I have a sphere here and I have a basic particle system set. I'll just reset it like that. You can see, I'll give it a little more lifetime and I crank up the particles. And you can see they're emitting here. By default, they emit from the face. So when I press Alt-A, they're all popping out of the face of the object. Or you could select the vertex and they're dropping down. Well, maybe I just want it to come straight out. Well, it's actually being affected by gravity. So I can come down here under the field weights here and go to gravity. I can change that to zero. All right, what I do now, they just shoot straight out from the object like that. All right, so that can be really useful for certain things. All right, and then, uh, but maybe I don't want to spread them out from there. Maybe I want to just do something a little more specific. So actually, let's escape that for a second. A couple things I'm going to do first. I'll go into edit mode. I'm going to go into face select and I'm just going to grab a couple of these and I'm going to extrude it with E. I like that. That way I have a I can orient this sphere when I rotate it. So if I'm rotating it on Z, R, Z like this, I know which way it's actually pointing. Alright, so now back into edit mode. Now I'm going to grab maybe this one and this one and this one and this one here like that. And I'm just going to press P and separate that by selection. All right. So how did that actually do that? Let's see. Yep. So it's a separate object. See, it's called sphere.001. And that one's called sphere. So what I've done, I've basically left it in the same place. In fact, to verify that, I better just shift and click this and then parent that like that. So I parented this to that object. That way, when I click this object, here and move it around, those other pieces stay with it. So now I'm just going to get these five pieces like this here. Well, first, actually, maybe I'm going to come up here and I'm going to get rid of this particle system. And now I'm going to use this particle system instead. Uh, I didn't have a particle system on it, but it's going to have one right now. All right, so, so now I have particles only on this here. So I press Alt-A, and now the particles only show up out of this and then it, since so maybe that's where I want the particles to emanate from or emit from and then I can still come in now and come down here to this escape come down here press I uh, maybe give it a rotation keyframe right then come up here to 180 and then press RZ and just spin that around a few times like that and press I and give it another rotation keyframe all right, so then when I run the animation from the beginning, so then the particles follow follow around, you know, maybe like a sprinkler or something, you know, so, and then they stay together. That way you can control where they emit from. Well, anyway, all right, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.